Hello all. Welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what are relative XPath expressions? Let me answer. First of all, in XPath expressions, there are two types. One is absolute XPath expressions. Okay. First one is absolute. Absolute XPath expressions. And the other type is relative XPath expressions. Relative XPath expressions. There are two types of XPath expressions which can be used by Selenium for locating the elements. Okay. One is absolute XPath expressions. Other one is relative XPath expressions. So coming to the absolute XPath expressions. So we have to write this XPath expressions from the root element. Okay. Starts with the, starts from the root element. Starts from root element. That is a uh, root element. That is HTML. Okay. So it will start like this slash HTML slash body slash one example I'm giving slash body slash uh, div of two slash div of three slash. Okay. Input one example I'm giving at the rate at the rate ID is equal to para one like this. You have to give the entire path. Okay. You have to give the complete path starts with the root element and it, in, it includes a complete path. Complete path we have to give starting with the root element. So, and coming to the relative X path expression, we don't have to give the complete path. Instead, it is a direct or shortcut path. Direct or shortcut path. So, for this kind of uh, absolute X path expression, we can write a relative X path like this. Double slash input at the rate id is equal to para one. So short it is, right? Very simple. So which one need to be used in real time? Absolute X path expression because it includes a full path or relative X path expression because of its uh, direct or shortcut path. Which one is generally used in real time? In real time we use, in projects, we use rel uh, relative X path expressions, okay? This is not used in projects, not used in projects, not used or preferred in project, okay? preferred in project. Why? Why it's not preferred? Why it's not uh, preferred in project? The reason is, the reason is, if any small changes happens on the UI, here the path may change, okay? In between path may change. This div of two will become div of one or div of three may become div of four. We don't know. So this X path will is, is prone to changes, okay? Due to small UI changes uh, developers uh, does on the application, this complete path, there's a possibility, high probability of changes in the path and the old path may not work in locating the elements. And again, we need to create a new absolute X path to locate the elements. So for small changes, if you have to keep on, you know, creating the absolute X path expression for every small change on the application, that means the absolute X path expression, which is a complete path, which starts from the root element is a not reliable one. Okay. Hence it is not used in real time projects. In real time projects, we don't, don't use that for learning purpose. We learn it, but we don't use that in real time projects. Okay. It's not recommended in real time projects because it is not reliable, but coming to the relative X path expressions, which are shortcut or direct X path expressions. Okay. Which are used in real time because this kind of shortcut direct X path expressions are reliable. Even though there are some small changes happen on the UI of the application, this relative X path expression is kind of reliable. Okay. It won't change for small changes, won't get affected because of the small changes on the UI. Hence, it is used in real time. So let me practically demonstrate one example of a relative X path expression. So here I'll take you to this application. Now, let's say I, I want to locate this login button, inspect this login button. I'll get the HTML code of the login button. You see, this is the HTML code of this login button. By looking at this, I have to create a relative X path expression. How do I create? There's a value attribute with some value, uh, with uh, some value as login. Uh, I, I see this as unique. Input tag is there. So I'll simply say control F, double slash input. At the rate value is equal to, I copied the value login. Okay. In the center, you see 
login button got located. Okay, these are relative XPath expression. Okay, these are relative XPath expression. For the same, if you have to create absolute XPath expression, it will be very typical. So copy and uh, copy full XPath, you say, and these absolute XPath expression, you see how complex it is. HTML from starting with the root element till the required element. If in the root, if for small changes, some UI changes happens on this application or this particular UI element, this path may change. Some number may change from here, div of two may come div of three or div of four may become div of two or whatever it is, div of seven may become div of eight or nine. We don't know because of which this is not reliable and uh, this will fail in locating the elements. Hence, it is not reliable. Hence, we have to prefer the relative XPath expression only double slash input at the rate. This kind of relative XPath expression uh, for small changes also nothing is going to happen. Okay, for small changes. This uh, relative XPath expression will stay stable. It will not change. Hence, it will be able to locate the element, okay, even after small changes on the UI. So, hope guys, you understood what are relative XPath expressions and uh, the advantage of using the relative XPath expressions over the absolute XPath expressions and which one is used over real time, how relative XPath expressions are used in real time and what is the purpose of using them in real time over the absolute XPath expressions. So, that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.